Yo, what up? I'm making this video right here for all of my freedom fighters out there, all of my hustlers out there, all of my entrepreneurs out there, all of my visionaries out there, everybody out there who has a dream. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm making this video for those of you out there who have something you've been working on, like some type of project that's going to take you some time and a project that's going to transform you and help you to become a better person in order for you to get the lifestyle that you want. I'm talking directly to all of y'all go-getters in this video. My name is Jonathan Belcher. And before I talk about the topic today and discuss what we're gonna discuss today, I wanna start with our daily affirmation, which is, I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy, I am healthy, I am loved. I'm going to say it one more time. We're going to say it one more time. Say it with me. Say it with me. I am rich. I am financially free. I am financially prosperous. Money flows to me effortlessly and abundantly. I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am loved. And remember, the key to actually having a powerful man of, uh, affirmation is to actually believe what you're saying. You know what I'm saying? And put feeling behind what you're saying. You know what I mean? And, and that's the key to having strong, powerful affirmations that could travel out there into the ethers of the universe and go out there and start creating what you want for yourself. And, and that might sound a little weird for some of y'all, right? There's some people out there who think like imagination and, manif and, and, and meditation and they think visualization and they think, uh, you know, uh, speaking things into existence and, and thinking positively. There's people out there who literally think that stuff is like fake. They think that that stuff does not work at all. You know what I mean? And to me, I'm looking, I look at that situation and a, a person who doesn't believe in that stuff. And I say it's an unfortunate situation because when you really look at nature and you look at anything in life, anything responds and is of a nature of itself, right? So, so what I mean is this, right? If I plant apple seeds in a garden, I shouldn't expect to get oranges. You know what I mean? If I plant uh, cucumbers or something or, or I start planting uh, you know, orange, oranges or something like that, I shouldn't expect to get a different fruit from oranges. You know what I mean? It just makes sense. If I'm a human being, right, and I have a baby with another human being, I should expect the baby to be a human being. Uh, if, a, if two lions mate and have a baby, uh, a baby cub or whatever, right, a ba well, a baby lion or whatever, then guess what? That makes sense because everything in life is, is and of a nature of itself. So, if I go through life, right, if I go through life and I'm thinking positively in life, you go through life and you're thinking positively, you're speaking positive things, you're speaking things that you want, not what you don't want, and you're also visualizing the things that you want, right? So that visualization of things that you want is creating a good feeling within yourself, and that further drives you and pushes you towards your goal and towards manifesting anything that you want in your life. And that makes sense to me, right? Personally, that makes sense to me. But some people out there, unfortunately, it doesn't make sense to, to them. So really, when, I, when I've been speaking about the movement that, we're put, that I'm putting together, I'm really looking for people who want to spread that message of truth. You know what I mean? Like to spread the message of, you know, success, true success, right? Everlasting success is really about something mastering uh, how to develop something deeper than money, right? For example, like, any type of growth in life, true prosperity in life, true success is going to come from some type of inner growth. It's going to come from you getting clear on the inside. It's going to come from you working on your skill sets, you know, working on your business. Growth is going to come from also you reading, listening to audios, exposing yourself to information that helps you to stay encouraged and to stay focused. Like these are the things that you could do to stay on track. But, you know, just switching gears a little bit. Uh, just to switch gears a little bit, uh, we're going to talk about, really quick, we're going to talk about the subconscious mind versus the conscious mind because I think that's a, such a very important thing to touch on because I know so many people out there who are struggling and having a hard time actually, you know, they may start out with good intentions. They may start out on a new journey or a new business or a new job opportunity, right? There's people who start out on a new business or a new job opportunity with great intentions or with a great uh, destination in mind or vision in mind and for some reason once they get started on it they get overwhelmed you know people out there get sidetracked people out there who get discouraged you know and every single every time they start something new 
it seems like they got to take 10 steps back. They, they move three steps forward, take 10 steps back. And if you're, a, if you're in a situation like that in your life, I want you to know that I can relate to you because I've been dealing with that for, for years now and certain things I've overcame and certain things I fully understand, certain things I've broken through from. And then there's other things that I'm still trying to figure out, right? And I'm still taking baby steps with understanding because everybody learns differently. Everybody learns at their own pace. Uh, but I remember like, I remember earlier on before I had any success in business at all, right? Before I had any success, I remember just visualizing what I wanted. I remember just feeling how good it would feel to have what I wanted. I remember getting clear on why I was doing what I was doing. So all of those things that I was doing having to do with me connecting more to myself, me understanding myself more is what actually allowed me to manifest what I wanted and make it into a reality. You get what I'm saying? Because I was thinking what, about what I wanted, I was talking about what I wanted, and I was visualizing how it, would, how it would be if I got what I wanted. So that's the Holy Trinity right there, right, right there, right? You think it, you speak it, and then you, you, then you visualize it. You think it, you speak it, you visualize it. And then of course, that's gonna force you to take action. When you think it, speak it, and visualize it, that, that basically forces your body to start taking the right action that it needs to take to bring your dreams into reality, to bring your dreams into the third dimension. You know, you think it, you speak it, and you visualize it. You think it, you speak it, and you visualize it. Now, the problem is why most people who get started on a journey with great intentions to be very successful and prosperous, the reason why they fail or they, they experience some type of temporary defeat or discouragement is because what's happening is what they're thinking, speaking, and visualizing isn't in harmony. One of those things isn't in harmony. Maybe they're speaking great things, right? Maybe they're visualizing great things, but they're not thinking great things, right? And usually if you're not visualizing great things, you're probably not thinking great things, right? But a person could be thinking great things, visualizing great things, and not speaking great things. You know what I mean? Or visualizing great things, right? A person could be visualizing great things, but because of their, their actual reality in, in life right now, it's causing them to get discouraged again. And it's causing them to go back into the thoughts of negativity, right? Although they're visualizing great things, they're in a current situation that may be discouraging, right? To their overall being. So the way that you break through from a situation where you have thoughts of limitations, because this is, this is what we're talking about, right? This is really what we're talking about here is, is how to break through from having thoughts of limitations and how to reach your full, full potential in life and grasp your dreams. This is really what we're talking about. So... You know, the way the subconscious mind works is the subconscious isn't as powerful, or I should say it's the subconscious mind is dormant while you're awake. So in your waking hours, when you're going to work and you're, you know, you're awake talking to friends, awake watching a movie, anything that you're doing while you're awake, that's your conscious mind, right? That's your conscious mind is basically in a driver's seat. Now, when you go to sleep at night, your subconscious mind is now in the driver's seat. And this is why you have dreams. And this is why your dreams, when you wake up, your dreams feel so real. You know what I'm saying? This is why when you have a dream, I don't know if you've ever been in a dream before, but I've been in a dream before where I've been fighting. I don't know if you've been in a dream where you've been fighting and somebody actually punched you somewhere in your body. Then you wake up and in real life, you're at that actual same place where somebody punched you in a dream. It hurts. Have you ever been in that situation? It's because your subconscious mind is so, so, so powerful. It can literally trick the brain into believing that something is real. It's just like, for example, if I mention cheesecake, right? Cheesecake, think of some mouth-watering, succulent, hot fudge filled with strawberry cheesecake right now. Some of you listening to that, your mouth might have watered a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Because the triggers of a cheesecake give you the, gave you the visualization in your mind, the picture, the picture in your mind of a cheesecake. And if you like cheesecake, that's going to cause you to actually have a real reaction as if you're about to put a cheesecake in your mouth. You know what I'm saying? So that's how powerful this, the, the subconscious mind. So this is why when I'll be talking about, I talk a lot about visualizing what you want. I talk a lot about imagination. The reason why I talk about, a lot about imagining what you want in visualization is because I know that imagining what you want and seeing what you want creates a good feeling within yourself. You know, it creates a good feeling with your, within yourself. And that good feeling helps you to work in the direction you need to work in to manifest what you want. Because I have a question for you, right? Just to prove to you that this makes sense. 
Have you ever been, have you ever tried to work to the best of your ability while being stressed or depressed or tired? How efficient of a worker are you when you're stressed out or tired or depressed? I bet you you're not really an efficient worker, right? So imagine now if you're thinking positively, you're sleeping well, you know, you're speaking good things, and at the same time, you're visualizing the things that you want. That triple, that, those, three, those three things coming in conjunction as one is what starts to manifest and create all the resources, the circumstances, the people you need around you, uh, the ideas you need, everything you need to actually make what you have in your mind a reality, it starts to come to you in life. The universe starts bringing it to you. <laughs> the universe starts sending it to you in your life. That's how it starts happening. You know what I mean? But the thing is, the reason why it may feel like it's taking forever for you to manifest something you've always wanted is because your subconscious and your conscious mind, they're in disharmony. They're not in harmony because on... All right, this is basically how the brain works, right? The left hemisphere of your brain controls the right side of your body. The right, the right hemisphere of your brain controls the left side of your body. So you have a left hemisphere and you have a right hemisphere. Now, when your left hemisphere of your brain and the right hemisphere of your brain merge as one, that's when you're being true to yourself. That's when you're operating at the optimal, at your optimal ability. That's when you're in tip-top shape. That's when you're, you have the utmost confidence. That's when you basically have reached kind of like basically God form, you know, you, you're basically, you're, you're, you're in the I am, you're really embodying the I am. When, you're, when your subconscious and your conscious mind merge together as one, you're embodying the I am because everything that you say, do, and think is now in harmony. You know what I mean? It's now in harmony. So the way that, the way that you, got, you get your subconscious and your conscious mind to merge as one, there's different things that you could do. There's different things that you could do. So if you I recommend getting a pen, a pen and pad if you don't have one, if you don't have one yet. Make sure to get a pen and pad just to write this stuff down really quick. So some things that you could do to get your subconscious and your conscious mind to merge as one so that you can clearly go through to the destination where you need to get to, right? That may be you getting a new house. That may be you getting a new car. That may be you creating a new lifestyle for yourself. That may be you creating success in your business. That can be you creating a success in your relationships, success in, with your children, success with your parents, stuff like that. Anything in your life that you want, this is how you create it for yourself, right? So remember when I said the subconscious and your conscious mind has to be in line. They have to merge the subconscious and conscious mind. So what I mean is that you can't be out here saying, oh, I want to make $30,000 a month, but you're thinking negatively, right? Oh, I want to make $30,000 a month, but you're always thinking about the worst possible thing that can happen to you in business. Oh, I want to make $30,000 a month, but you're always thinking about the time when you failed in the past. See, those are conflicting things, right? You're speaking a message that's conflicting with, with, your, with your thoughts. You get what I'm saying? So in order to get everything in line so that you can manifest what you want quicker, you can do things like listen to audios from successful people. Or listen to audios from people who uh, you look up to or role models and stuff like that. Entrepreneurs. Anybody who you look up to or want to learn from, listen to audios. And I recommend a very, a very powerful strategy, that you, a very powerful thing that you can do is listen to audios while you're about to go to sleep. So pop in some earplugs, maybe some AirPods. Put that in as you're going to sleep and listen to your audios. And the reason why is because what happens is you go... As you're falling asleep, you go into a state known as uh, the theta state, I think it's called, right? When you're in, realm, you're in realm, realm sleep, I think it's called, right? You're in a theta state, and it's basically you're in the state in between your conscious and your subconscious state. So you're not all the way sleeping yet, but you're not all the way awake. So you're in between being fully asleep and you're in between being awake. When you're in that state and you listen to audios or anything that you're listening to that's going into your mind is literally downloading into the subconscious part of your mind, right? It's downloading into the subconscious part of your mind. When you're in the theta state and you listen to audios, things, messages, concepts start to download into the subconscious part of your mind. So it's easier to get to the subconscious part of your mind and transform the way you think the way you operate, the way you process information, it's easiest to, to transform that when you're in the theta state. 
You get what I'm saying? Because you're close to the subconscious and you're in between the conscious as well. So that is the, that's the state in which it's easier to get your subconscious and conscious mind to merge. So listen to audios. The next thing that you can do is you can meditate. Meditation is a very powerful way to get more clear with the I am, you know, your, your, your connection to God, your connection to spirit, your connection to source. Uh, so meditation is also powerful. Another thing that you can do is eat healthy, eat fruits, eat vegetables, eat live foods, drink water. You know what I'm saying? Uh, eat live foods, foods that are alive, raw foods, nuts, peanuts, stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? Fruits, vegetables, what else? Uh, maybe some herbs, things like that, citrus things. Uh, so eating healthy definitely has an impact on the mind, doesn't it? It has to have an impact on the mind. You know what I mean? Like you can't think that what you can't think that what you're consuming doesn't impact the things that how you feel, your health, the way you're thinking. Of course, if you eat a lot of dead food all the time, if you eat red meat all the time and you only eat one source of food, well, your body isn't really getting the proper nutrients, right? Your, your body isn't getting the proper vitamins and minerals if you're only eating dead food. So if you want to be alive, you got to eat live foods and that helps the brain stay alive. That helps the creative juices to flow. That helps the ideas to flow. And the subconscious and the conscious mind starts to merge slowly but surely. Another thing that you could do, but this is not something that I recommend because it's not something that I've done ever in my life myself, but I've heard and I've done a lot of research on this. So I will mention it, but this is not what I'm recommending to do because everybody's different. Everybody has a different men mentality uh, and is at a different stage in their personal development in life. So what I'm about to recommend to you is not, I'm not recommending that you do it. I'm just saying it is something that based on research I've heard has helped people to get their subconscious and conscious mind within in harmony and that's uh taking something like like shrooms you know ingesting something like psilocybin uh dmt dimethyl dimethyltryptamine ayahuasca things like that you know what i'm saying uh natural drugs that affect the brain you know natural drugs that really they call them spiritual drugs if you will but i don't recommend that that's not something that i recommend because I've never done it and I don't ever recommend to people to do anything that I've never done myself firsthand that I can vouch for. So I don't recommend that. So the next thing that you can do, the next thing that you could do is to get, your to get your subconscious and conscious mind in harmony with each other to, so that you, you can create the life that you want. And I'm getting tongue tied. I'm a little tired today, right? I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, I was working on a couple training videos before I hopped on, it, on to do this video. I was doing a lot of different training videos and stuff that I had to get done for people that I have a part of the movement. Uh, we just been working on getting some things done and I'm excited. I'm excited for a lot of things that are coming that's gonna help people to really, really build a brand. It's really gonna help people to really build a, a, a mass following and network of people, you know what I mean? Who we can serve together and we can enlighten together and we can teach together and we can educate to get together. Uh, because, you know, it's just to get off, go off on a little tangent, you know, I'm going off a little tangent from the whole subconscious conscious mind thing, but I'm gonna I'm a get back to it. I'm gonna get back to it. But I've been thinking a lot about censorship and I'm really concerned about, you know, how they say we have freedom of speech. But as time goes on, it's kind of like in history when like they used to burn books and hide books because they didn't want people reading certain books to get the knowledge that they needed. Uh, but like now, you look at, you see a lot of things being censored, a lot of truthful information being censored, a lot of truthful information being covered up. As much as things are being exposed, things are also being covered up that is truthful and powerful that I feel the people should know. And, and that's really why I recommend video marketing so much for earning a form of passive income or creating residu residual income for yourself because when you have you know, a YouTube channel and you're able to reach new people every day, your message is able to get heard. Because when I talk about censorship, I'm really talking about, really, when you think of censorship, think of something being hidden, hidden that should be seen or like a treasure, like a, a gold treasure in like a, an island that a pi pirates on a ship just magically stumbled upon. That's kind of like when I think of censorship. Only, and I'm talking about it in terms of information that people need. When I say people need, I mean in terms of breaking free financially, breaking free on a social level, breaking free spiritually. Because a lot of the problem that we see today is because 
information is hidden. As much as we're in the information age, there's a lot of information that's e either hidden or you have to be a certain type of person to even seek the information. But one thing that's true is seek and ye shall find, right? Seek and ye shall find. Seek and ye shall find. But, you know, with video marketing, you have the ability to get any message heard. You have the ability to bring awareness to something, right? You have the ability to bring awareness to problems. You have the ability to bring awareness to solutions. You have the ability to bring awareness to things that, uh, that really, really need attention. Because if people don't know that things are going on, how can they start to formulate the solutions to it? How can we formulate the solutions to problems if we don't know things that are going on? And as time goes on more and more, the censorship game is starting to become much more sophisticated, I'm realizing, especially on the internet when you search certain things. Things that I once was able to see before I'm not able to see. Certain information that was very powerful information that I was able to just research really quick. I'm not able to research any anymore because it's hidden or it's blocked or it's been taken down or it's been banned. So I say that to say moving forward, you know, you got to know that video marketing is basically the future is going to be a great form of bringing awareness to things. It's going to be a great form of bringing people together and it's going to be a, a great way also to make money at the same time with all of that. So, you know, uh, and that's really what my concern is, you know, my, one of my concerns is the censorship. So you want to really create or and set up your business in a way where although you have a YouTube channel, although you have a YouTube channel, you still want to have something else on the side of your YouTube channel as well. You know what I mean? Or save your videos. That's the best. That's the best bet you should do. Let's say you have a YouTube channel, right? This is going off on a different little uh, tangent here, right? But this is important and valuable for those of you who may be YouTubers or thinking about starting a YouTube channel or thinking about basically becoming a voice and letting your voice be heard. When you do YouTube videos, make sure to save your YouTube video to your computer. Save it. Get yourself a hard drive if you don't have a hard drive. Upload your YouTube video to YouTube and save the YouTube video to your hard drive. So just in case, God forbid, for any sick, crazy, twisted reason, if one day, you know, we just woke up and YouTube just disappeared, guess what? The great news is you still have your YouTube videos. You still have a voice. You still have a message. You still have a vision. You know what I mean? So back to the topic that we were talking about, right? Because it's still related to it, right? It's still related to everything that I'm talking about at the same time because uh, we're talking about the problems that we're seeing in society and the world today and the depression we see. You know, people are committing suicide at a higher rate than ever before. People are getting laid off from their jobs. People are getting fired. Uh, we're seeing a lot of changes happen. So. You know, a part of that, a big reason f for these problems is because the things that people think, the things that people speak and they envision is not in harmony. That's really the whole reason. Their hearts and their minds is not in harmony. That's basically what I mean. And if your heart and your mind is not in harmony, it is nearly impossible to create what you want. It is nearly cr impossible to create the dream lifestyle that you want. It is nearly impossible to lose the weight that you want. It is nearly impossible to get healthier. You know what I mean? Like... I wake up in the morning and I shout certain things in the air. You know, I am rich. I am powerful. I am healthy. I am prosperous. I am abundant. I am a visionary. You know what I mean? You just scream these things into the air and it really, it might seem weird, but it actually creates something. Don't ask why it works. It's just the universal way of how things are. You know what I mean? I know even if you take little children, you take little children and you speak good messages to children, you encourage children at a young age, you show them love. You're really nourishing that child. The odds of that child growing up to be a success is way much higher than if you, you know, basically discouraged the child. You told the child the child was stupid. You told the child the child couldn't do anything. You told the child the child couldn't be successful. Children, you know, kids in their purest form. You got people who, adults who say these things to children and they don't understand how this negatively affects them growing up. It's like stupid. It's, like, it's so stupid when you think about it. Like obviously this kid is going to have a harder time knowing their self because they're not given and shared you know they're not they're not nourished properly is what i'm trying to say so that's kind of how you got to think about your mind if you're not nourishing your mind with the positive thoughts that it needs the positive self-talk that it needs then you're not going to create what you need in your life you're not going to create the things that you want it's always going to be some type of roadblock or some type of temporary defeat in the way 
causing you to not get what you want. You know what I'm saying? But this whole movement is about you getting what you want. This whole movement, the 300 to Freedom movement, is about helping you to manifest what you want, helping you to create a voice for yourself and share the message and let people know the people who are most in line with your vision, they're gonna come to you and they're gonna say, look, I love what you're doing. I wanna support you more. How can I support you more? You know, because just like energy, just like nature, everything in life, like I said, it is and of a nature of itself, you know? So if I'm an entrepreneur and I think like an entrepreneur and I think positively, I'm going to tend to attract people like that. And that's what happens in my everyday life. I tend to attract people who think like me. I tend to attract people who are visionaries. I tend to attract people who believe in things like the universe and meditation and all this crazy weird shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I don't get too, I'm not really crazy weird or anything like that. Like, I don't get too deep into the weird shit. You know what I mean? I still know that there's a physical life here happening be right before me. You know what I mean? I don't get too caught up in the whole uh, universal stuff and the mysticism. But I will say this, I know for me, what has worked for me is, yo, getting my subconscious and my conscious mind merged. You know, it's, it's a process through meditation, through listening to audios, through taking action, you know, through eating the right foods, through thinking the right thoughts and practicing to think the right thoughts, always expecting the best. Through the practice of this, what starts to happen is your brain starts to become attuned for prosperity. Your brain starts to become attuned for prosperity. It means it becomes receptive to prosperity. It means your brain starts, your brain is like a broadcasting station. You know what I mean? And I've been talking and rambling for a while now, but I don't know. I feel it has to be done. It's just how I'm feeling right now. So I'm just going with my feelings and I'm just flowing right now. So the brain is like a broadcasting station. So let's just say, for example, you had a job that you wanted to get and you really wanted to get this job and you knew you had to go on an interview tomorrow morning. The best bet is, number one, lay, lay out your clothes from today of what you're going to wear. Lay out your clothes and make sure you dress as if you got the job already, right? So make sure you look your sharpest, everything. But most importantly, before you go into that interview in the morning, expect and see yourself getting the job. Expect to do great on the interview. See yourself doing a great job on the interview. Feel how it would feel if you were answering the interviewer's question in the most professional way possible. Feel that before it even happens yet, before it's even a reality. Just feel as if you already got the job. Feel as if the interviewer called you up and they said, hey, hey Sarah, you know, the other day you came to our office, we interviewed you, guess what? You got the job. How would that feel if you got that call? You should feel that from now before you even go on the interview tomorrow. And what's gonna happen is, Basically, because your, your brain is like a broadcasting station, it's going to work and go out there before you, ahead of time, right? And for some, for some reason, that's my dog. So if you hear my dog, if you hear my dog, let me go. Hold on one second. Come here. Sorry about that. I had to get this little guy. But yeah, so your brain is a broadcasting station. So your brain is gonna go out there and it's as if it's gonna go out there into the universe, into the world and work for you before you even physically show up to that interview. Now that when the next day comes and you go to the interview, you're gonna be feeling confident. You're gonna be feeling motivated. You're gonna be feeling good as if you got the job already because you already put that thought, you already broadcasted that positive thought into the universe. Does that make sense? It might not make sense, but to you right away, but through practice, just try it. Just try the weird stuff that I be talking about having to do with manifestation, thinking it into existence, speaking it, speaking it into existing and visualizing. Try it. Try the, the three. Try those three. Thinking it, speaking it, and visualizing it. I'm talking about do it repeatedly. And you're going to see things start to change in your life because that even in that process in itself, the subconscious and the conscious mind starts to merge. You know, and then now you go to sleep at night and you start to get good dreams, dreams that make you feel good. The nightmares start to become less and less. You know, then you wake up in the morning, you open up your phone, you look in your email and you see you've made money, new commissions, you've made money online. There's somebody out there in the world. There's people out there in the world who want to get a part of your product. They want to buy your services. They want to, you know, stream your music. They want to watch your videos. You know, you would go about your day. 
you hit up your friends, you know, you hit up your family, you say, hey, let's go to the beach, let's hang out, let's go to the beach. And they say, why not? It's Saturday. Let's go to the beach. You, your friends, your family, you all go to the beach, you hanging out, got Coronas and, well, I probably shouldn't say Corona right now. <laughs> you got Coors Light or uh, Heineken, right? And you're laid out on the beach and it's not the right time to say Corona right now. So I probably shouldn't have said that. I wasn't even thinking when I said that. <laughs> but, um... But yeah, so you got your, your Heineken and you know, you got your food laid out on the beach, got your blanket, you're talking, having a good time. Then you run off into the water, you jump into the water, crashing into the waves, come back to your blanket, come back to your family and you go check your phone again and you realize that another commission just came to your email once again. And you didn't even lift a finger yet. And it's probably like 1 p.m. That's what's possible for you when you envision what you want for yourself. That's what's possible for yourself, for you when you imagine what you want and you keep it in your mind. That's the key. The key is keeping what you want in your mind. No matter if today is a good day, no matter if today is a bad day, no matter if it's up, down, day, night, and all around, you keep your vision and you imagine what you want. You keep what you want in mind. Whether it's a storm, whether it's low tides, high tides, sunny out, rainy out, hail, sleet, snow, you keep what you want in your mind. No matter if a distraction is trying to come into your life, whether somebody just left your life, or this new opportunity is arising, or that opportunity is arising, it's all good. You align with the opportunities that makes the most sense for what you want to create in life. The opportunities most in line with your vision. That's the best bet. That's the best thing to do. Partner up with opportunities. Partner up with people who are in line with your vision and it will it will manifest faster for you because if you partner up with people who have similar thoughts as you it's kind of like what I said about merging the subconscious and the conscious mind right the subconscious and the conscious mind once they're in harmony they are now merged and now you're gonna become and you're gonna move extremely powerfully in your life now imagine 10 other people who think just like you, who also know exactly what they want out of life. They're thinking it into existence, into existence, speaking it into existence, and visualizing it into existence. Imagine now you come and combine your mind with those other masterminds. What do you think you're gonna, you're gonna create? Of course, you're gonna create a powerful empire of success, prosperity, and abundance. That's what's gonna happen. That's what we're doing here in the 300 to Freedom movement. We're putting together a movement for people to become more prosperous, to live more abundantly, and to live more successfully. But before we can really, really do that, we have to step up our spiritual game. We got to step up our personal development. We got to know exactly who we are. We have to know exactly who we are because if we don't remember who we are, we can't create what we want. And literally... It's going to be a hundred times harder to create what we want. And not only that, generations and years and years down the line, generations to come and babies to come and, you know, as the future comes about, we can't make an impact on the future if we're just thinking about today. You know, we got to think and we got to be able to see something further down the line. We got to be able to envision something that everybody can be a part of. And I think one of the most powerful ways of doing that is becoming a voice, right? By sharing your message, by sharing value, by being of service, you know? But the subconscious and the conscious mind, very, very tricky. The mind is very, very, very tricky, isn't it? I know even for me, even in my life, I've been in situations where I felt like my own mind has tricked me out of my position. Sometimes I could be my own worst enemy. Have you ever been in a situation like that? Have you ever felt like that in life? Like you're your own worst enemy or you sabotage situations that could have went well or situations that could have been a great thing, so good thing or relationships that could have been great? Have you ever felt that you sabotage those situations or business opportunities you could have worked your best at, you could have stayed encouraged on, you could have never gave up on? Have you ever felt like you didn't give it your all before? Well, those times when that happened, when you started something and you gave up on it and you've kept, you kept feeling like you're starting and going, like something isn't growing, like you're not making progress, that is usually happening, that is usually happening because the subconscious and the conscious mind is not in line. 
That is it. You know what I mean? That is it. And of course, there are ways to get it in line. You know what I mean? There's ways, and, and one of the most powerful ways you could do it is through listening to the right audios, listening to the right audios, listening to the right information, you know, because it's very impossible to go through life not believing in something and then seeing testimony after testimony after testimony after testimonial after testimonial. It's very hard to see testimony after testimonial and not believe something. It's true. You know, if something is working for other people, why isn't it working for me? You know what I'm saying? If somehow merging the subconscious and the conscious mind is working to help other people to get their dreams to reality, is helping to get other people to become what they want to become, why isn't it working for me? But the thing is, if we're closed off to, to the information, well then, we can't grow spiritually, we can't grow personally, and we damn sure can't grow financially because really and truly growing financially doesn't even matter if you're not growing spiritually and personally. It really doesn't even matter. You know, you just, you give an idiot a lot of money, you just have a rich idiot now. That's all you have is a rich idiot. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, yeah, I just want to do this video real quick. Um, you can check out my blog, workwithjohnbelcher.com. Probably at the time, well, no, not probably, definitely at the time of you seeing this video, there's a new blog that I updated on the, bl uh, on the blog, on my blog website, workwithjohnbelcher.com. Uh, click on the link in the description below. Check it out, you know, and if you like it, hit me up. Let me know if you got an idea that's in line with my idea. Hit me up, let me know. We could connect. Also, my Facebook link might be in the description below. Like I said, I appreciate all of you for subscribing to my channel. I appreciate those of you dropping comments, sharing my videos, liking my videos, engaging with my videos. I really, really appreciate it. This is your boy, Jonathan Belcher. I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace.